Hello maths fans, Dr Tom Crawford here at the University of Oxford with a question to make you think. If you used all of the kettles in the UK, how long would it take to boil the entire ocean? This question comes from TRM intern Becca Tanner who wrote a brilliant series of articles on Fermi estimation. If you haven't already, make sure you check those out. As with any estimation question, there are of course lots of different ways to approach the problem. I'm going to be using a step-by-step -step method, breaking it down into smaller, more manageable chunks, which will ultimately lead us to the final answer. Step one is going to be to estimate the average volume of a kettle. Now, based on my experience of kettles in the UK, I would say the average volume is probably between one or two litres. So I'm going to take a value here of 1.5 litres to be my average kettle volume. And this is equal to changing the units 0.00015 metres cubed. Step two is going to be to estimate the number of kettles in the UK. Now one way to do this would be to assume that every household has a kettle. It's a pretty standard piece of kitchen equipment. So that would give us around 30 million. And of course there will be other kettles that don't exist in households, maybe in a workplace. However, it's already quite a strong assumption that every household will have one. So I think it's perfectly reasonable to say 30 million or in terms of our Fermi estimation, where we're just interested in the order of magnitude of the number of kettles. This is about then 10 to the seven, the number of kettles. So 10 to the seven is 10 million. But again, for Fermi estimation problems, we tend to just work in powers of 10. For step three, we want to know how much water, therefore, can we boil at once? Now this is simply the volume of a kettle, the average volume multiplied by the number of kettles. So we do 0.00015 multiplied by 10 to the seven. Again, we're only working in powers of 10. So this is 10 to the minus three. So we're going to get approximately 10 to the four meters cubed of water can be boiled in a single go. Now step four requires a little more work because for step four, we want to know the approximate volume of the ocean. Now I say approximate because we are again trying to estimate this. So as a starting point, we can say the volume of the ocean is approximately the average depth of the ocean multiplied by the surface area. Now the average depth of the ocean is around 4,000 meters. So 4,000 meters. Now the surface area is a little trickier, but what we can do is we can use the shape of the earth to help us. So if we approximate the Earth as a sphere, then we know that the surface area of the Earth is approximately four pi times the radius squared. Now the radius of the Earth is 6,000 kilometers. So R is 6,000 kilometers approximately. And so substituting that in and converting to meters and then multiplying by four and pi gives us an approximate surface area for the earth of 4.5 times 10 to the 14 meters squared. Now this is for the earth. The ocean covers approximately 70% of the earth. So if we multiply this, by 0.7, we then get our final answer for the surface area of the ocean, which is about three times 10 to the 14 meters 
squared. We can now simply multiply these two values together to get the volume of the ocean is approximately 12 times 10 to the 17 meters cubed. Now that we know the volume of the ocean, and also how much water can be boiled at once, what we can do for step five is work out the number of rounds of boiling. Because this is simply the volume of the ocean, the total amount we need to boil, divided by how much we can boil at once. So this tells us we need to boil all of these kettles approximately 10 to the 13 times. For our final step, step six, we now just need to know how long does it take to boil a kettle. Now given these kettles are completely full, we've used the maximum volume, I'm going to say this is approximately five minutes. So to get our final answer for how long it would take using all of the kettles in the UK to boil the ocean, we simply take five minutes and multiply by 10 to the 13 repeats of boiling. So when you do that and convert the units, the answer is approximately 95 million years. So if we could somehow get all of the kettles in the UK together and we had enough energy to power them and to boil all of them a total of 10 to the 13 times, then that would take 95 million years in order to boil the entirety of the ocean on Earth. As I've mentioned previously, this is quite an abstract problem. And it's one that we will never really know the answer to. Nobody is actually going to conduct this experiment with 30 million kettles to see how long it would take to boil the ocean. So if you were trying to do this for yourself, you're very likely to have a different answer to my solution of 95 million years. But remember, this is Fermi estimation. We are using consistent approximations. The overall idea is that whilst we may have slightly different estimates at each stage, maybe you had a lower value for the volume or a higher value for the number of kettles, the hope is that those overestimates and underestimates will kind of cancel out and the final answers will all be roughly the same. And what that means here is of the same order of magnitude. So 95 million years is very close to 100 million years. So I would in fact argue that any answer ranging from let's say 10 million to 200 million years would be roughly the ballpark figure. We can't be exactly sure how long this would take in practice because that experiment will never happen. But through simple estimations and calculations, which you could just do on the back of an envelope, you can get a pretty good idea of what the solution might be. And that is the fun with Fermi estimation. Thank you everyone for watching. Please do remember to subscribe to the channel if you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you all soon. Take care.